Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, when will an inpatient rehab program help my case? For me, recommending inpatient rehab to a criminal client is almost always a calculated tool intended to gain a tactical advantage in a pending criminal case. But apart from the forensic benefits, inpatient rehab also has the potential to possibly change and perhaps even to save my client's life. Still, to be of use in court, there's got to be a nexus, a logical link or connection between the rehab and the litigation goal. Because if there's no compelling link between the program and the case, then it may help the client personally, but it's not likely to help in court. For example, if you picked up two DUIs inside of two weeks, then you'd probably benefit more in court from successful inpatient substance abuse treatment than if you only had one DUI to deal with. Even if there is a solid basis for rehab in your case, you still need to be sure that you've got the right variables to make it effective. For instance, if you have a judge who just doesn't believe in rehab, then all the rehab in the world isn't likely to persuade the court. And even if your judge does buy rehab, you have to choose a facility and a program that's both known and respected by the court. Finally, even if you've got the right case, a compassionate judge, and you pick the right program, all of this remains 100% dependent upon you. If you fail to amenably attend and meaningfully participate, if there's no provable insight, betterment, reform, and remodeling of past behavior and prior poor judgment, if there's no demonstrable framework for continued success, well, then your inpatient rehab will probably have been a waste of time and resources as far as court is concerned. That said, I thank you for your question and I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.